In a previous video, we studied ionic bonds and covalent bonds. And we said that there were two types of covalent bonds, nonpolar and polar. Oftentimes, when we look at a bond, we want to know, is that bond ionic, is it nonpolar, or is it polar? Well, to predict if a bond is nonpolar, polar, or ionic, calculate the difference in electronegativity between the atoms forming the bond. So electronegativity, that's a big word, but it's really quite simple. Electronegativity is a measure of how much an atom likes electrons, or the tendency of an atom to tract or to pull electrons towards itself. So officially, electronegativity is the ability of an atom in a molecule to attract shared electrons to itself. So don't get tripped up by this word. It's just the tendency of an atom to pull electrons towards itself. So the more electronegative an atom is, the more it likes electrons. Now we've already studied the periodic trends, and we could go through and study this chart and talk about effective nuclear charge and shielding. We could do all that, but let's just simply um, look at it at face value. Electronegativity increases as you go left to right, and it decreases as you go down. So on our periodic table, francium, sorry, fluorine is the most electronegative element. Fluorine likes electrons the most. Conversely, francium is the least electronegative element. It likes electrons the least. So francium has a tendency to get rid of or to lose electrons, and fluorine has a tendency to pull electrons towards itself or to gain them. So once again, if we want to predict if the bond is nonpolar, polar, or ionic, we have to calculate the difference in electronegativity between the atoms forming the bond. Remember that difference in math class means subtraction. Each element, as we'll see in a little bit, has an electronegativity value assigned to it. You can't really see it on this periodic table, but in the next slide we'll be able to. If you subtract the two values and you get zero, that means that the bond is strictly nonpolar. If you subtract the two values and you discover that it's between zero and 1.7, that means that it's a polar bond. If you subtract the two values and you discover that it's greater than 1.7, well, we would call that an ionic bond.